Hello everybody, I am 2 David one this is York City FM 2020, and let's roll the intro. So here we are then at the start of the fourth season, super excited to be here, but there's going to be no games this episode, this is going to be a preview and a review episode, so we're going to review last season, we're also going to do a quick catch up. For anyone who's maybe new to the series and fancy jumping in at this point as we are now in League 2. So, just going to run through the career milestones very quickly as my manager. Here I am as the manager, now 29 years old from Norwich. I am actually from Norwich as well in my real life. So, we in the first season got promoted via the playoffs as you can see. In the second season in the Vanarama National League division we didn't go up but we did win the FA trophy uh very very nice in that competition and then last season we did get promoted via winning the Vanarama National League we also won the Tonox Caramel Wafer Challenge Cup and the English FA trophy last year so we won a glorious non-league treble we are now in league 2 some of the uh, some of the performances last year were cracking. I'm just going to go down to league to this, and so you can actually see the league table and look at it from last season. If you weren't here and you didn't watch, we smashed the league, 18 points clear by the end of it, breaking records as way as well on our way. You know, most points of the season is now us. Most league wins is now us. We were cracking, and players as well. Keasley Mooney, our striker, who we signed in the summer. For a hundred thousand pounds, came out as top goal scorer. The season before, we had him in on loan from Hull City, he scored twenty-eight. So yeah, very good returns from Keithy Mooney, who scored thirty-four goals in all competitions last year. So now let's jump into more of the preview stuff and let's get into the transfers. Transfers are going to be a short little rundown. I'm just going to quickly go through the outs and then we'll speak about the ins. I haven't made too many deals because I was very happy with the way the team performed last year. Finishing 18 points clear at the top of the table. Dominant performance. Didn't want to rock the Apple Cup too much. I'm very loyal as a manager like this on FM. So into Cameron Stanley. Young striker. Not good enough for our level. Out on loan. Abdi Shafi, I'm not sure where this lad came from. I'm not. I think someone in the youth setup signed him, and I weren't really paying attention. And he appeared. I sent him out on loan as well. He's not good enough for us. He is a utility player. Um, so yeah, I'm not a hundred percent happy with the fact that he joined the club, but it was a mistake by me. And another striker, Gordon, has gone out on loan to Geesley. I've actually tried to listen to him as well. He's not good enough. He's not really going to do anything for us. We picked him up on a free from Crystal Palace. And he hasn't really had a chance. And we've done a little bit with striking options. So I've decided to let him go. It's some of his mentals that really worry me. And some of his uh, technicals as well. His physicals also aren't great. And we have better options as youth prospects. So they are the outs. The ins. We're going to get to the one that we actually spent money on first. Now... I didn't need a left wing back, but I got one. And I'm quite happy with him. He's an 18-year-old from Plymouth Argyle for 69k, as you can see. He is in on a squad player contract. He is a left-footed, and he is going to be playing a wing back support. And look at some of these stats. Very, very good. High potential, and I'm very excited to have him in the club to add a little bit more... You know, a little bit more of a challenge to Ferguson and Sahara on the left-hand side. Sahara, our left-wing back, centre-back, maybe playing more centre-half this year. Next one, I think, is probably our best signing. It's a freebie. He was at Brighton last season, and it is Max Saunders, an advanced playmaker, who is going to be up against Ben. Ishmael Ben is the man we're going to put him up against. Let me just bring Ishmael Ben up so you can compare. Ben in a couple of areas is slightly better. Max Saunders in a couple of areas is slightly better. It's going to be a great tussle between these two to lock down this advanced playmaker role. I'm happy to have him in. He's also English, which helps out our English quota. And he's got very high determination as well, which is good for mentoring. So I'm expecting him to blossom into a good mentor for the club. 
has just noticed he's only five foot six, which is a little concern as a centre mid, but we'll just get away with that. And then Ryan Fakakali, I can't say his name. Um, rename, where's rename? Because I'm going to have to rename you some. Certainly name. Um, Ryan Fazza. Ryan Fazza is a young striker from Brighton. He's Irish, and I think he's quite good. Like, if you compare him to the players that we just set out on loan, so this guy, for example, he's miles better. He's miles... Gould is better at technically attacking and aerially, but everything else, it's just cracking. He also is a star forward, according to our scouts. He's also a... can play pressing forward, deep line forward, false nine if I want. He can play off the right. He can play in behind. He's got great physicals, some lovely mentals, high determination and good personality is something I was looking for to inject into my squad to add some of them good characteristics in as well. Very happy with him coming in. He lacks some technicals, but he's only 18 years old, so that is fully expected. Brighton probably won't be giving us to him next year, but we should try. We did Nelson Aho. Nelson Nelson Aho. Let's just see if I can find him. Port Vale. Let's go bring up Port Vale and talk about Nelson Aho. Nelson Aho, the guy we had on loan from Port Vale last year, the young 19 year old striker, scored 21 in 37 in the league for us. Very, very good throughout. Cracking player all round. Very good. Got assists as well. We added some great PPMs to him. He also did get a new contract from Port Vale. He's now a regular starter for them. And they've whacked. They want like 700k every time I ask about him. I had the money to do it. I'm not going to spend 100k, 700k on a player like this though. So we had to move on. And that's why Ryan Fazer came in instead. So, to the league table and into League 2, we're going to have a little look at the prediction of where we're going to be. Just quick, quick second. Where do you guys think we're going to be as well? So, the media and the, the bookies are saying 15th in the league. That is survival. 15th in the league and a 16 to 1 shot to go up as champions, though. It's not bad odds. So, you know, we're not... It seemed to be a very, very tight league. 55 to 1 is not exactly crazy odds for this division. I can come up some of the other divisions. Let's go look at the, the championship, for example. And you look at preview stages. Forest Green are 450 to 1. So, yeah, very, very different for a team of our stature in our league. It is seemed to be a very, very tight and competitive division. So, a chance to improve upon 15th if we can. I'm hoping for top half, and the board has given us the vision of survive relegation by all accounts. Just avoid relegation, FA Cup second round, and Carabao Cup be competitive. What does be competitive mean? Just be in it, play a game, try, I suppose. And then next year, they're expecting us to be a top half. I would like to accelerate that, be top half this year, and then push for a playoff spot next year. And we shall find out with that. So yeah, this has been the preview and review of the Season 3 and Season 4 uh, episodes for York City. Next episode, which will be coming out in a couple of days, will be the first action of the season. Which will be Chesterfield in the Carabao Cup first round. And also our first league game of the season, which is Burton away from home. So thank you very much for watching for so far. I am TDV1. Like and subscribe if you're looking for some more York City action and see if, how far we can get York City up this football table. And also check out some of the descriptions because there's lots of links in there to social stuff. Twitter, I'm active on Twitter. Uh, and if you're an FM fellow creator, hit me up on the Discord if you want to say hello, if there's anything you want to say. And you'll catch me in some of the Twitch streams. I, I'm lurking or coming in in little Twitch chats for different FM co creators. So. Yeah, all in all, very, very good. Excited to start the new season, which I'm now about to start recording, which I'm super buzzed about. I've got a coffee, and I'm going to record this stuff. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I've been to everyone, and as always, guys, peace out.